Oh, look at this graveyard. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we've got these Coldplay wristbands that we got when we went to their concert. It's been a dream of ours for a long time to go to a Coldplay concert. By far our favorite band. Coldplay did the Milo Zoto tour. They bought the DVD and we watched it, and one thing that they did that was awesome was they have these wristbands that don't look like much when you just look at them, but they light up and they have radio frequency inside of it so the people that are controlling the concert and the lighting they can have these go off at certain times of the concerts at certain parts of the songs with different colors but when you have all these going off 20,000 30,000 40,000 of these things going off to the music it makes you feel like you're part of the show and it brings everybody together that's at the concert so even if you're on the back row of the concert you feel like you're like part of the concert here's my wristband i've got it Put it on, I got a blue one. Turns out Lincoln got a blue one. Claire got a blue one. A sleazy oddball. But didn't they give you another one? Ooh, okay, that's definitely the one we cut open. Yeah. Today they are restarting their tour. They took a little break in India and they're gonna be going for a few more months and into next year into Europe. We went down to Las Vegas, Nevada to watch the concert and we vlogged about it. My favorite Coldplay song is Everglow, but I love the Adventure of a Lifetime song during the concert because everyone was just jumping up and down. There was a bunch of rubber balls going everywhere. They don't work when you get home. They only work when you're at the concert. It's super annoying because I think it'd be cool to have this light up bracelet, even if it just stayed on all the time. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to cut into this thing and we're gonna take it apart, but we have two other ones and I'm hoping that there's a switch in there that you can just switch and then the thing will turn on. Step number one, I'd like to cut this part right here and see if we can get the lights. This one, I'm okay if we damage it because we have two others. All right, we're almost into the band. Um, if you remember from our LED shoe video, that's that what the LED lights look like. So it's just a band of LED lights with some plastic wrapped around it. This is some tough cloth right here. It's actually harder to get into than I thought of. And in order to tighten it, you just put it around your wrist and you pull down on the red thing. It's cool because it does say Coldplay Xylo Bands. One thing that Lincoln pointed out when we were at the concert is that this logo that's on the outside it looks exactly like the new album, I Had Full of Dreams. For the other two, if we can figure out how to fix it, then we will use the screws on those ones and actually flip the switch and everything. But here's the plan. Hatchet, there's a little crease spark right there. I should yeah, be this... doing this on mom's table. <laughs> I totally missed it. <laughs> okay, I found the crease. I almost found my thumb. Okay. okay, so we got in. And it turns out I could have taken off those screws because it's just for the batteries. More screws? Four more screws on the back. Our goal is to try to break into this without destroying it so we can just flip the switch and it would work. Because so that want, would be so cool. So you want me to use a screwdriver? No! I want you to hit it with a hatchet. But that's, if our goal is to get into it without breaking it, then why would we use a hatchet? Be really careful. I got it. We're in. Oh, man. No. Okay, so this right here must be the actual chip that gets the radio frequency, and so it takes whatever directions it's supposed to do, and it feeds it into here. This little chipboard right here is the brains that tells the lights to light up and when to do it and the timing and everything. There is no switch inside of here on either side. There's no way for you to turn this on without having their proprietary software. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I know a guy, his channel is Jerry Rig Everything, his name is Zach, and he has the number one iPhone repair channel on YouTube. He knows how to fix technology, only lives an hour away from us. I don't even care if it like blinks to music, I just wanna be able to like flip a switch and I have a light. What a waste, if you only use these for one concert, then you can never do anything with it again. Yeah. We're about 20 minutes away on our hour drive up to Zach's house. I wanted to take a minute to thank audible.com for sponsoring this video. We wouldn't have been able to go to Vegas and have the amazing trip of a lifetime that we had if it wasn't for Audible. In fact, Lincoln over here is busy on the drive. What are you listening to, bud? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney. It's an hour and 58 minute long book and we're on a two hour drive. So 
Audible.com, you don't just have to listen to books that are super long. You can listen to short ones also. They have so many different titles on there to choose from. So if you guys would like to try a 30-day free trial or get yourself a free audiobook, you can go to audible.com slash what's inside. Click on that link. It's in the description below also. And you can show them some love back to the drive. There he is, man. Check it out. You guys sure did a number on this thing. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> we destroy stuff. This is our buddy Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. He has an awesome channel where he fixes iPhones, breaks down things, tests them out, just all kinds of stuff. So I feel like we're in good hands and I feel pretty confident that he's gonna be able to fix this. But as of this moment, I don't know if he can. I know I can. <laughs> he knows I he can. This. Think he'll be able to do it? Yeah, I think he'll be able to do it. I like you, we got this. All right, it's been a week and we're back. We've got to know what the outcome is. Did he fix them? I don't know, let's find out. Okay, let's see this. Into the office we go. Have you done a video on all of these phones, basically? Every single one of these has been torn down and then I do durability tests on them as well. You can see a couple phones did not survive. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, so like this right here. Yep. I've never even seen this kind of phone. It feels so cheap though. It's called the Next Bit Robin, completely made of plastic. <laughs> oh, look it at this just... graveyard. Okay. All right, let's see what happened here. This is the one we destroyed. What? Yes! She got it to work. If you remember, this is the one that I hit with the hatchet, and somehow we got it to work. So, you know, it is pretty smashed. You can see here, like, the battery compartment. It keeps on wanting to push the batteries out, but luckily there's some screws here in the back that kind of hold them tight. So this is one of the fixes I did. The only problem with this is that once the batteries are in, like, that's it. It just you have to wait till it dies. So I did this one, and this is a little bit different design. You can see there's a little switch added there's, to the top. You of added that. a switch. Does it does it work? Yes, it is right. blue. What? Favorite color. If you're one of the millions of people that went to one of these Coldplay concerts and got these wristbands, and it's just sitting there having dust on the closet, not just one, but two different ways he fixed this thing. So click on the video here, and you can see how he fixed it. That was fun. Nice. 